Good afternoon, Bob Katz, and welcome to BBTV, your home for Buffett News. Today is Monday, March 5th, 2018. My name is Dylan, bringing you the news that matters. As always, let's begin with the daily announcements. Students, No Place for Hate and Girl Scout Troop 42173 are collecting birthday decorations, cake mixes, and frosting for birthday and bag to support youth emergency services. Donated items will be collected until this Friday. Any students wishing to help this cause can place items in the collection boxes located in each team area. 7th and 8th grade athletes. Today during Bobcat Den, informational meetings for spring sports will take place. Boys soccer will meet in the cafeteria, girls soccer will meet in the library, and track athletes will meet in the gym. Attention 8th graders plan on going to Central High School. If anyone is interested in cheerleading for the Central High Eagles, there will be an informational meeting this Tuesday from 3.30 to 5 p.m. at Central High School Room 145. That's it for the announcements today, Bobcats. Let's now head over to Gage and Alessandra for two quick news stories on a recent update, a popular app that has people annoyed, and a look at this month's passing period music. <laughs> On Thursday, as we moved into March, students of Buffett began hearing new passing period music. This happens every month as the student council picks a new theme to focus on. The theme for March is teacher choice. This means that each song was chosen by our very own teachers. But what are they? Going into block one, students hear Justin Timberlake's I Got a Feeling. As they transition to block three, four, Marvin Gaye's song Ain't No Mountain High Enough is playing through the halls. After 3-4, Smash Mouth's hit song All Star can be enjoyed. Going into block 7-8 is classic T-Swift song Shake It Off. Uh, and finally, as students head to Bobcat Den, they get to listen to ABC, which is performed by the Jackson 5, which is the band that made Michael Jackson a superstar. So Bobcats, it's time to form your opinion. What's your favorite song our teachers picked this month? Last month, the popular app Snapchat released an update that was meant to improve the user experience. However, this update has caused a lot of controversy. Users have felt the updates made things worse instead of better. Common complaints have been that the stories are now on the icons of people. So now you have to go searching through your friends to find the stories you want to see. It seems that the Bobcats who use Snapchat agree that the update has caused problems. We went out to hear their opinion. Oh, I hate it. I hate how, like, well, my views are down now because, like, you have to click on my name to see my story. So now my views are down, so I don't get any views. Um, I don't like it because it's confusing and you can't watch your stories on one side and your streaks on the other. I don't like it because it's just annoying and harder to get around, but I'm kind of getting used to it. Thank you. Hey Bobcats, this is this is your sports anchor Ben and getting you caught up with all the big things happening in the world of sports. Thanks for joining me in the sports zone. Since it is Monday, let's talk about the big games happening this week. In Buffett Action, we have the Spring Sports Informational Meeting during Bobcat Den for boys and girls soccer, as well as for track. Also today, also happening. Today, the girls basketball meeting will be going. The girls basketball team will be going against Mort the Morton Panthers for the for the first round of the city championship. This game will be taking place after school. This game will be taking place right after school here at Buffett. Also happening this week is the boys swim finals on Wednesday. The seventh on Wednesday, the seventh grade swimmers compete at Burke for their championship meet. Then on Thursday, the eighth grade boys will also compete for, for a city at Burke. Before we leave you in the sports zone, 
we have some quick footage of the girls basketball game for the past Tuesday against Davis. Enjoy. Good afternoon, Bobcats. This is Heather bringing you coverage of everything important to you and your free time. Welcome to the Entertainment Corner. Today we're going to be checking out the world of music. Popular rapper Logic has recently made headlines, releasing two brand new songs. The single 44 More and Overnight were uploaded online for fans to enjoy. As you may know, Logic gained fame from his hit song 1-800-273-8255. Fans of his can actually see him in concert as he is making a stop at the Baxter Arena here in Omaha on April 4th. For today, let's take a quick peek at those two new songs. It looks like the wheel has landed on Let's Get Social. This means we'll be looking at something that can be found on social media. Today we are visiting the world of Twitter to play a fun game. For this segment we will be displaying several tweets and you have to guess which celebrity said them. Good luck. That's going to do it for our broadcast today, Bobcats. For mo more info on many of the stories you've heard and to see what we're working on for future ep episodes, be sure to follow our Twitter page at BuffettBBTV. Signing off, this has been Dylan. Have a terrific day, Bobcats.